wood trot. Let's get that wood going. Get it all indoors. Most of it's Douglas fir. It's dry. Cover was off the wood pile for a few days, but it's just a bit of surface uh, moisture on it. The wood is extremely dry now, and it will burn. And I'll get it inside and warm it up. Well, now I've got the wood hauled in. It's nice to have the wood up at some stack. That'll be burnt up over the next day or half a day. Got a little bit more here, I'll rotate in. It's nice to have it close by the back door. So, you, you know, your wood piles out there, bring the wood in, and you have to have enough supply inside. It has to warm up to burn. It has to be dry, but it's easier if it's warm too. Now I'll stack it in there, get it going, and warm the place up. Everybody has their own method of lighting a wood stove. But I usually put paper on the bottom, one piece of wood, and above it I have my cedar wood. I have a little bit of wood for my shop, some cedar cutoffs, some two by twos, a little bit of cardboard. I'm gonna put it all in there. The, the cedar two by twos will fall down. There's a bit of bark, fur bark in there. She'll all go, she'll go real nice. And then uh, once it starts burning, it'll collapse, go to the pile, collapse. And then I'll be able to put some of the dry pieces that I have on top. And away we're going. The smoke will come out, so the uh, gotta keep it shut. Oh, boy, let's open the bottom one. Keep it shut until the uh, gonna start drawing the air up. And away we go. You can hear it now. There you go. See so, you now when you put in some more, I'm gonna get some more paper in there. Some smoke comes out, but yeah. I'm trying to get the uh, paper in there, but I'm getting, I'm getting smoke out of the house, but hey, it happens. Nothing you can do. I mean, it just, uh, it gives the house that little bit of aroma. You know, if you live in the country, you eat with wood, it's all part of the experience. A little bit of smoke in the house. I've got two pieces of dry wood that, since I was away, nobody hauled it in. So I'm going to get these, this dry wood onto the fire. My little piles collapse on the bottom, it's like a hot, hot coal, so I open it up, and this is when you really get the sparks coming out, but that's it. It's loaded, now we've got a ripping fire.